it feels more like a European bistro. We have uh, delicious tasting soups, fresh desserts um, every single day, as well as sandwiches that are made on the premises. Take a bite out of the old world with Le Sandwich au Languette du Poyer. If you can't pronounce it, it must be good. Devour the Gâteau Choco Banane or inhale the Mousse au Chocolat Belge. And you'll still have change for more. Remember, this is a McDonald's. This is the very first standalone Golden Arches Coffee House and Bistro in North America. We think the most unique McDonald's cafe. Even the seats are designer. Well, I like the, uh, the fact that I can bring a book, just sit down, relax, read a book, and uh, not feel uh, rushed or anything. Now, if you did come all this way for a quarter pounder with cheese, don't panic. Look next door. The old familiar menu is right there. And guess what? If you feel like having your cheeseburger with chocolate mousse, you can bring your burger right into the bistro. Our customers are definitely allowed to bring uh, food that they order at the McDonald's counter into the Mac Cafe. We are there to satisfy their, their needs. So you've got your gourmet sandwiches, the fancy desserts are great, and there's a real McDonald's right next door. But with all these perks, one question remains. Really, how does the coffee taste? You know, I honestly, I did not believe that McDonald's could make better coffee than all those other coffee places, but they really do. It's great coffee. This McDonald's cafe looks like it's good to the last drop. And if you want an authentic cafe experience in Montreal, complete with a Big Mac, stop in at 1500 Atwater in Montreal. When we went searching for the most unique McDonald's in the world, we enlisted the help of Peter Holden. He's been to more than anyone we could find. Greetings, it's time for lunch. Yeah. <laughs> we asked him, what makes a McDonald's stand out from the crowd? Thank you very much. There are some McDonald's in the United States that are actually gathering places for the locals. They play bingo there, their retirees are there. They come there for the birthday parties. I had a birthday party and I was 38 years old. It was a big surprise party for me. So uh, I enjoyed it, it was fun, it was exciting. Having fun is what our next McDonald's is all about. Consider that kids under the age of 12 make one third of all dining out decisions. Then you'll know why one franchise owner in the vacation destination of Orlando, Florida, did this. There's always some new surprise around every corner. You know, the reaction when they walk in the door is, is the old wow factor. They don't really literally know what, what to do first. There are 8,000 Ronald McDonald Playlands around the world. But at this over-the-top Playland, celebrating that special day is a status symbol. It's not just a birthday party. It's like heaven. In fact, this McDonald's location is so popular among kids that it hosts about 15 parties every weekend. That's over 750 birthday parties a year. And if you're lucky enough to celebrate that special day here, you're gonna get things you won't find at your everyday Golden Arches. Never eaten a pizza at McDonald's? You can here. Not only that, you get to watch them make it. McDonald's has always hidden the preparation of the food in the kitchen and, and it's wonderful ingredients that we use and I wanted to bring that out in the front of the house with real chef uniforms so everybody could see the fine way that we put things together at McDonald's. Party here and you can have a balloon maker, a body painter, he draws a pretty mean hamburger, and even a magician. But if you think this Playland puts on a great spread downstairs, wait until you see what's on the second floor of this 15,000 square foot party palace.
They have 60 video arcade games, air hockey tables, and even ski ball. This, is, this must be the best McDonald's playground I've ever seen in a McDonald's in my entire life. Okay, so the arcade is great. But there's one more thing that sets this playland apart from all others. The mother of all mazes. A 2,500 square foot monster that serves up 25,000 feet of snaking tunnels, hyper fast slides, and enough secret hiding places to keep even the most discerning happy meal lover satisfied. If you think it's all for the kids, there's another reason parents make Playland their party destination. I don't have to clean up, I don't have to entertain, I don't have to, to um, babysit, so it's wonderful. It's, it's great to have a party here. Next time you're traveling in Orlando, just keep your eyes peeled for the biggest order of french fries you've ever seen. Because this McDonald's is also the best McDonald's to play in. traveled all over the world to find the most unique McDonald's. We began with the oldest one, where we saw the milkshake machine that started an empire. Then it was lights, camera, action at our Broadway McDonald's. But Ronald was the star when we went to Dallas, Texas for the happiest McDonald's. The most unique McDonald's in Indiana? It was a diner. We traveled way down to the deep south. Scarlett O'Hara country for the classiest in Asheville, North Carolina. But for the next most unique McDonald's, you needed a parka and this, because this is Patia, Sweden in the Arctic Circle. We found tractors at our most unique McDonald's on a farm in Moose Jaw, Canada. And our other Canadian McDees didn't even serve burgers. But if you had a Big Mac attack at our unique McDonald's in Orlando, Florida, you'd want to eat it after playing in the world's biggest McDonald's playland. Now, for the McDonald's you've been waiting for. The one we think might be the most unique anywhere. To find it, we didn't go to your everyday suburban neighborhood. We had to go across the ocean to one of the most famous cities in the world, Rome. Now, you might think about the Sistine Chapel or the famed Trevi Fountain when you think about traveling to Rome. But believe it or not, in this city of ancient history, McDonald's has become the spot to supersize your extra value meal. And it's in this historic building. The location? Near the Spanish steps in the ritzy La Piazza di Spagna. For the last 400 years, Piazza di Spagna has been the center for all travelers to Rome. People come to Rome to see the Colosseum, and they also come to Piazza di Spagna. It's also the fashion center. The Spanish steps are all about romance and affluence. And that includes this Roman McDonald's. It's the most opulent McDonald's we've found. Walk through the front door and look around. This place is palatial. Those bright dramatic arches just might make you feel like you're entering St. Peter's Basilica. That's not your everyday tiled surface. Seem familiar? The floor of this McDonald's is meant to resemble the ancient cobblestone streets of the Piazza di Spagna just outside. But if you still don't want to put on a toga, then walk down this hallway and check out the full-size replica of a Roman statue. The ancient architectural details continue. A waterfall made to look like it came from the ruins. Italian marble on almost every wall. The travertine marble that is used in the architecture of the restaurant comes from near Rome in a place called Tivoli and it's used in lots of the buildings in Rome. Even the steps inside feel like they're from the Colosseum. They lead you to the second floor of one of the largest McDonald's ever built. It has 800 seats. 14 cash registers, and over 14,000 square feet of space. The Big Macs here are reportedly the most expensive anywhere in the world. 
And if you still don't feel like you're having quarter pounders in a Roman villa, then take a look at the view.